Hello, lovely netizens of the digital universe. It's your ever curious host, Medi, back with another riveting edition of Medi's Digital Classroom. I trust you're all gearing up for another knowledge packed session. Oh, and for those of you who missed out on last week's enlightening episode where we dissected how to evaluate tokens, do yourself a favor. Hit pause, jump over to that episode and catch up. You'll thank me later. Or, if you're feeling audacious, stick around and I'll make sure you don't feel lost. Oh, and by the way, if you prefer reading over watching, we've got all this juicy content available in a neat blog format. Just check out the links below. Today, my dear digital explorers, we're venturing into the second part of our vast realm of tokenomics. It's like economics, but for tokens, get it? We've got a smorgasbord of information coming your way. We're not just scratching the surface, oh no. We're digging deep beyond the basics into the pulsating heart of digital assets. As we set sail on this crypto voyage, have you ever wondered why some projects seem to be throwing tokens around like they're confetti at a parade? Or why some tokens play a vanishing act as if they're auditioning for a magic show? Trust me, by the end of this session, you'll have the answers and probably a couple of fun facts to show off at your next virtual gathering. Now, for all you folks who love some visuals with your learning, I've got some news. Remember the time when we transformed these wordy blog posts into snazzy video sessions with yours truly? I add a sprinkle of humor and a whole lot of fun to make tokenomics as colorful as a fireworks display. So be sure to check those out. They're perfect for sharing with that one relative who can't stop talking about Doge at Thanksgiving. You know who I'm talking about? If you've been enjoying these sessions, and come on, who wouldn't, right? Do me a small favor. Give that like button a little love tap, share the video with your pals, and subscribe for more. Because believe it or not, every click helps me bring you more exciting content each week. And hey, it's always better together, so why not invite your friends to the classroom? All right, fellow digital pioneers, as we delve deeper into the world of tokenomics, let's talk about the various methods through which tokens see the light of day. It's a smorgasbord of choices out here, so let's break it down. First up, we have initial coin offerings or ICOs. These were the rock stars of 2017. Imagine the world of stock market IPOs, but sprinkle in a bit of Wild West adventure. Here, projects decide on a date and say, Hey, give us some of your established cryptos like Ethereum and we'll hand over our shiny new tokens. Sounds straightforward, right? And the perks? It's a speedy way for projects to gather funds. And if you're an early bird, there might be some juicy worms if the project soars. But remember that one friend who borrowed money and then disappeared? Some ICOs did just that, taking the money and vanishing into thin digital air. Ever heard of Coiny? Ah, poor thing had legal issues with Kanye West himself. Not the best way to start, I must say. Next in line, security token offerings or STOs. Think of these as the sophisticated cousin of ICOs. They represent tangible assets, whether that's equity in a company or a slice of the real estate pie. The upside, a lower scam risk, thanks to these tokens being backed by real world assets and sticking to legal guidelines but they might not be the wild party some crypto enthusiasts are looking for due to their strict adherence to rules. A shining beacon in the world of STOs is T0, truly pioneering the way. Ah, initial exchange offerings or IEOs. Here, our beloved crypto exchanges play Cupid. They pick projects, put them through the ringer, and if deemed worthy, host their token sale. It's like having a party and the club owner decides who gets in. This process lends an air of credibility and a promise of liquidity, since these tokens often get listed post-haste. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility, and exchanges wield considerable influence here. Take BitTorrent token, BTT for instance. It flew off the virtual shelves on Binance's launchpad in a blink. Now for those who love the spirit of decentralization, we have initial DEX offerings or IDOs. These are for the decentralized platforms out there. Though they champion decentralization and typically come with a friendlier price tag, they might lack that stringent vetting process. Remember Raven? It soared into the decentralized sky with an IDO. Initial launchpad offerings are where platforms roll out the red carpet for projects, ensuring they're primed and have a fan base clamoring for their tokens. These launchpads offer a neat package deal a vetted token issuance process that makes things smoother for both sides of the coin. But there's a gatekeeper deciding who gets the spotlight. 
Binance Launchpad is certainly making waves in this space. Have you heard of initial liquidity offerings or ILOs? Think of them as the grand opening of a DeFi gala. Projects offer up initial liquidity, and in exchange, users can immediately start trading. It ensures there's action from the get-go. But just like the stock market's opening bell, things can get a tad chaotic. Platforms like PancakeSwap have embraced the ILO spirit. Ah, airdrops. It's like waking up and finding a little gift waiting for you. Out of the blue, a project might drop some free tokens your way, either as a thank you or to drum up some buzz. But there's always a catch. If everyone rushes to cash in their surprise gift, it could hurt the token's value. Uniswap's Uni token airdrop? That was a surprise many didn't see coming. Then there's yield farming and amp liquidity mining. Instead of sweating it out in virtual mines, you're playing the long game, staking or lending your tokens to reap the rewards. It's like farming, but digital. Seeds in, harvest out. Platforms like Compound and Yearn Finance have made this quite the rage. The initial stake pool offering, or ISPO, is quite the innovative twist. It's a barter system of sorts. Stake your tokens, and instead of your usual rewards, you get a fresh batch of new tokens. It's like swapping your chocolate dessert for a friend's cheesecake. The Cardano network saw Meld introduce this interesting method. Fair launch is all about equality. No pre-sales, no venture capitalists, just a community-driven approach. Everyone's on even ground, but the initial rush might cost you a pretty penny in fees. SushiSwap is the poster child for this, leading the charge with its transparent launch. Lastly, minting via smart contracts is, well, pure digital wizardry. Perform a task, hit a goal, and poof. New tokens appear as a reward, but unchecked minting could mean too many tokens chasing too few users. Take CryptoKitties, for instance. Those digital ephelines have been minted out of nowhere, and some have fetched prices that might make you spit out your coffee. Now, with this smorgasbord of token distribution methods, from ICOs to, well, minting those adorable digital cats, there's truly a flavor for every project's taste. But here's a nugget of wisdom. Just because there's a buffet doesn't mean you should sample everything. A lot of these tokens might dazzle with their potential, but sometimes the actual value can be as elusive as a unicorn. Investing in a token without a clear utility or a solid use case is a bit like buying those fabled magic beans. Every now and then, you might stumble onto a beanstalk leading to treasures, but other times, you might just end up with a garden full of, well, beans and a feeling of, what did I just do? And remember, as you navigate the shimmering seas of crypto, Always anchor yourself with thorough research. It's a world of promise and potential, but like any frontier, it has its share of bandits and pitfalls. So keep your wits about you, and if someone promises you the moon, just remember, booking a ticket to space is still a tad bit pricey. Now let's dive deeper into some other fascinating aspects of the cryptoverse. Buckle up and let's set sail. The world of venture capitalists, or VCs as they're commonly known. Picture this. You're watching one of those riveting nature documentaries, and there's a shark, smoothly and effortlessly gliding through the water, eyeing its surroundings. That, dear viewer, is somewhat akin to the role of VCs in the crypto ecosystem. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not out hunting, but boy, do they have a nose for opportunities. Venture capitalists are like the talent agents of the finance world. They're always on the lookout for promising startups ready to invest their capital in hopes of reaping substantial returns down the line. It's akin to scouting for the next breakout music artist, but instead of platinum records, they're after golden returns on investments. In the traditional startup landscape, VCs take equity. But in our dynamic crypto universe, they often purchase tokens, and quite a heap of them, usually at early bird prices. Why, you ask? because they're taking a chance on the potential meteoric rise of these tokens. When a VC hops on board, it's like a startup getting the golden buzzer. The venture not only receives funds, but often gains from the VC's expertise, invaluable connections, and a stamp of legitimacy. Just imagine having someone like Beyonce singing your praises. However, every silver lining has its cloud. Since VCs procure tokens at substantial discounts and in hefty amounts, when the time comes to trade these tokens, there's a temptation to sell them in mass. The result? Potential price drops, making the crypto cocktail a tad watered down. Now shifting gears a bit, 
let's chat about the unsung heroes of the crypto space, the early adopters. Remember that exhilarating feeling when you stumble upon a quaint cafe before it becomes the talk of the town? That's an early adopter's daily life in the crypto landscape. They are the trailblazers, the ones setting up camp outside a store, eagerly awaiting a new release. In our crypto analogy, they're the adventurers placing their bets on a budding token or a fledgling project. These pioneers are not just injecting funds, they're infusing belief into a project. Their steadfast support often acts as the wind beneath a project's wings, propelling it forward. When they buy and hold on to tokens, it's not just an investment strategy, it's a vote of confidence. It adds to the token's scarcity, potentially driving its demand and price skywards. And if they're particularly influential in the crypto circles, well, their endorsement can be like a magnet, pulling in other investors. But as with everything in life, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. If these early adopters for some reason decide to sell their tokens, it can ring alarm bells. It's a bit like seeing the life of the party make a hasty exit. It makes you wonder if there's something they've heard that you haven't. Now, with these insights in mind, let's delve further into the myriad nuances of the crypto ecosystem and uncover more hidden gems. Ready to embark on this journey with me? Let's go. All right, folks, picture this. You're at a restaurant deciding between two dishes. One has a secret ingredient that elevates its flavor, while the other, well, it's just okay. In the exhilarating realm of finance and cryptocurrencies, that special ingredient is liquidity. While it might not always be in the spotlight, it plays a monumental role, especially when it comes to token pricing. So let's don our chef hats and whip up a deeper understanding of this concept. Now, why is liquidity the toast of the town? At its core, liquidity is about how swiftly you can turn an asset into cold, hard cash, or its equivalent, without shaking up its price too much. Think of it as the speed dial of trading. Here's what it brings to the table. Price stability. Imagine a bustling market. In a highly liquid scenario, the chances of drastic price changes are minimized because there are numerous participants. It's like being at a concert. One person singing out of tune isn't going to ruin the entire show. Boosted confidence. To all potential investors out there, seeing a market brimming with liquidity is like stepping into a restaurant with a line out the door. It feels promising and implies the presence of a delectable offering. Efficient price discovery. More trades mean the token's price is a better reflection of its true market worth. Reduce transaction costs. Just like getting that extra scoop of ice cream for free, in highly liquid markets, you often get closer to the prices you're aiming for, thanks to tighter bid-ask spreads. But why do some fledgling crypto projects seem to have a liquidity challenge, akin to hosting a party and anxiously hoping guests show up? Limited Spotlight, they're like that new indie song, great tune but not everyone's heard of it yet. The Doubt Factor, being the new kid on the block means they have yet to prove their worth. Investors might be humming the wait and see tune. Whale Waves, if a few big players hold a chunk of the tokens, it's like having one person hog the dance floor affecting overall liquidity. Exchange Hurdles, not all new tokens make it to the big leagues or major exchanges immediately, limiting their trading accessibility. But here's the burning question. How do we put a number on liquidity? It's not about gut feelings, it's about solid metrics. Dive into tools like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko to check daily trading volumes. Peek at the order book's depth. Observe the bid-ask spread. And don't forget slippage, which tells you how much a price might jitter due to new orders. Now, for those who love taking a deep dive, DEX, Decentralized Exchange Liquidity Pools, are your go-to swimming spots. Think of them as the token reservoirs. And how do you check the depth of these pools? Say hello to platforms like Dex Tools, your crypto binoculars. Aim for projects boasting at least a million tokens in these pools to ensure smoother sales in the trading waters. But Medi, you might interject, what about the hustle and bustle on CEXs, centralized exchanges? Should I eye those volumes too? A fair question, but tread carefully. While the crypto streets have stories of bustling CEX trading volumes, sometimes it's just an illusion thanks to tricks like wash trading. It's a bit like seeing a packed restaurant, but then realizing they're all mannequins. 
On the other hand, DEX volumes are the real deal. Here's a simple reason. Faking volumes on DEXs is a costly game due to associated fees. In our commitment to making you a liquidity guru, we're gearing up for a dedicated video session on this topic. From diving deeper into DEX pools to calling out the myths surrounding CEXs, we'll journey through this together. And believe me, by the end of it, you'll be a liquidity connoisseur. Stay tuned. All right, folks, let's hit that rewind button and journey back to when we talked about VCs and the early adopters. Imagine these big players are those who snagged the first tickets to a blockbuster premiere. By getting their hands on these tokens at such an early stage, often before everyone else even gets a whiff of it, they sit atop the crypto pyramid. And my friends, they have the power to make or break the party. They're like the whales navigating the vast crypto ocean. So when one of these giants decides to splash around either offloading or collecting more tokens, it's no surprise that the waves can reach every distant shore. Picture this, you're peacefully sailing in a boat and suddenly you see that enormous fin. Even if the whale just wants to say hello and doesn't mean any harm, the ripples are undeniable. But wait, before we drown in these deep sea metaphors, oops, did it again. Let's address something the heart of the matter. What makes the crypto world go round? That's right, profits. These investors, traders, and even early adopters are driven by the scent of potential profits. They're not mustache twirling villains scheming in dark corners, but rather strategic players in this financial chess game. It's crucial for all of you budding crypto enthusiasts to remember this profit-centric nature as you dip your toes into these waters. High returns might sound enticing, but always be mindful of the tricks and maneuvers of the big players. Speaking of those tantalizing profits, have you ever wondered about the bounty the big league players, especially VCs, get to enjoy? Well, pull up a chair and grab your popcorn. Time for a little story. Imagine a crypto startup called Token X, because who doesn't love a good X factor? A sharp-eyed VC firm sees its potential and decides to make a bold move, investing a cool $1 million when the tokens are just one cent each. Quick math, that's 100 million tokens. The startup, fueled by passion and probably a lot of coffee, develops a stellar product, and by the time they're ready to unveil TokenX to the world, its price has skyrocketed to 8 cents. But the magic doesn't stop there. Due to the tantalizing combination of low liquidity and the all-too-familiar FOMO, investors flock, and the price zooms up to an eye-watering $4. From an initial investment of $1 million, our VC is now sitting on a mountain of gold worth $400 million. Sounds like a fairy tale, doesn't it? But here's where the plot thickens. The VC decides to cash out 25 million tokens. If they sell these at the prevailing price of $4 per token, that's $100 million up for grabs. But remember, every action has a reaction. The market needs to be hungry enough to gobble up all these tokens. And, just like a buffet, when there's too much on the table, people can get overwhelmed. Other early investors see this buffet and rush to get their slice of the pie. The result? A potential price tumble as supply starts outpacing demand. This tale of Token X isn't just about roller coaster price rides, it's a lesson in the volatile dynamics of early stage tokens. The presence of large players like our VC can significantly sway market sentiments. The world of crypto, much like a rodeo, isn't for the faint of heart. So when you're tempted by the prospect of riding the crypto bull, always be on the lookout for lurking bears. In your crypto adventures, when you witness a sudden price surge, think of Token X. Recognize the forces at play, make informed decisions, and always know when to hold tight or gracefully bow out. Navigating the crypto waters can be thrilling, but always remember to keep a life jacket of knowledge close by. Well, we've covered a lot of ground in this segment, diving deep into token prices, liquidity, and the role of venture capitalists. But my friends, we're just scratching the surface. Up next in part three, we'll decode the intricacies of token allocations, explore the fascinating contrast between airdrops and token burns, and get up close and personal with MetFi applying all the insights we've gathered. Stick around for this thrilling continuation. And until then, always remember to trade smart and trade safe. See you soon in part three.